Welcome to the Contract Tech Showcase. In each episode, your host Flo Nicholas and a guest panelist will try out the latest Contract Tech products. Welcome everyone and thank you for joining us for today's episode. My name is Flo Nicholas. I'm also known as the Nonborn Lawyer and I'm the Chief Growth and Community Officer at How to Contract. The Contract Tech Showcase is a brand new streaming series from contracting training leader How to Contract. It's straightforward, practical look at the tech change in the contract landscape. In each episode, we feature a different contract technology tool. We have the company tell us about the tool, then my co-host and I have the opportunity to ask questions. We want to save you time and provide an entertaining way to learn about the latest contract tech. Today is the premiere episode, and we are thrilled to have Law Insider, one of our favorite contract tech tools. Sharing more about Low Insider is our guest, Preston Clark, co-founder. Thank you for joining us today, Preston. Hey, Flo. It's great, great to be here. Great to see you, Laura. Hey, great. Christine. And my co-host for our very first episode is Laura Frederick, the founder and president of How to Contract. Hey, Flo. It's so great to be here and great to have you on, Preston. I wrote, it's uh, We've got a long history together, so I'm excited for you to be uh, on the premiere episode. Likewise, yeah, I'm excited to be here and, and honored to be the first. Yes, the first, and thank you for being the first. Well, you know what, let's just dive in. Preston, please take us through Law Insider's product. We really want to understand what it is and the benefits to the contracting community. Sure, yeah, ha- happy to do it, Flo. Let me, let me share my screen here. While I'm doing that, as a, as a quick backdrop, I'll, I'll, I'll take... 30 seconds to introduce myself. Um, I, I did co-found Law Insider. My, my background, I was a, a corporate attorney in, in-house for a couple of years earlier in my career, but have spent uh, the last decade plus in software and, and uh, specifically in helping businesses distribute software. Um, and you can call that sales, you can call it marketing. There's lots of, of clever names for it. Um, but what I love about Law Insider, what you'll see, and, and we built it with this intent, is that the superpower of Law Insider is its distribution. Um, and so uh, do I think we're the best research product in the planet? No. Will we be someday? Probably. Uh, we aspire to be. But what's really special about Law Insider is that we're so easy to find, we're so easy to discover, we're so easy to use that we literally have hundreds of thousands of registered users and we almost have 10,000 paid subscribers. So it's just a very, very good business. You won't read about us in TechCrunch. Uh, We don't have a lot of uh, uh, law blog articles written about us and and we're okay with that because we have a business model um, that allows us to focus on the product. Um, We have no sales team, we have no marketing team. Uh, We just build this great product and and get to work with folks like Laura and others in the the legal community to help us produce great resources. So with that, let's dive in, Flo. Um, I'll give a quick overview of what this is and how it works. And then um, after I do that, happy to answer any questions about it. So Law Insider at the core is a legal research database, but it's focused on contracts and and specifically contracts, clauses, and, and defined terms. And so we'll walk through how that works and how it functions. But if you think in the landscape of legal research, you you typically think of the large players, the the duopoly that's out there, and and then the other competitors that that have come up that compete with them. And it's lots of case law and and it's lots of of non-transactional related material. And that's that's a huge business and and a great industry, but Law Insiders is hyper-focused on transactional. Um, and, and contracts specifically. So we aspire to be the largest contract database in the world. Um, I think we're, we're inching our way there. Um, but obviously when you have millions and millions of contracts as we do, uh, that's, you know, it's like saying, hey, Amazon's the largest store in the world, but that's not what makes, makes Amazon great. It's the distribution and the ability to find what you're looking for and curation and, and you know, just using it in an efficient way that gets you to what you need the quickest. Um, if I was going to say an analog to how the business works, if you know what Shutterstock is, um, and this is, I think this is an important part of how you, how most people find their way to Law Insider. If you Google uh, man on phone and you type in images, 
Shutterstock comes up probably, or Shutterstock competitors, but there's probably going to be 30 images of a person on a phone, a pay phone, a cell phone, whatever it is. And you click on that image, and now you're taken into the funnel and the experience of Shutterstock, which is, do you want just this one image? Do you want a whole bunch of men on phone? Do you want a different man on the phone? Uh, do you want to subscribe and get uh, other photos that have nothing to do with a man on a phone. Yeah. And and so they bring you in because they know that that search um, is precipitated by some need relating to maybe your web designer or whatever it is. So in the case of Law Insider, how people come to find us is through clause searches, through contract searches, uh, New York indemnification clause, uh, software license agreement for X, Salesforce software license agreement, whatever it may be. And because um, we've been working for so long and so hard at building the database, Google is our friend and they make it really, really easy to, to discover Law Insider because we tend to rank very, very high. But we've done that over so many different search terms over so many, many years. It's not like we just rank for contract clause samples or something like that. It's, it's much longer tail and much more nuanced. And so we get lots and lots of traffic, millions and millions of visitors every month who come in and to, to go back to the comparison comparison of Shutterstock um, and people find us, you know, looking for one thing and then they're like, whoa, there's a lot here. And, and so once we have you in our, our world, once you are here, our job is now to make it really easy for you to keep searching for what you're looking for. So let me bring you into this. The way to yes. think about Law Insider is we have contracts, clauses, dictionary, and resources. And the contracts is just a massive library of, of documents. And so if I go and I click on contract type, and let me just say, let's say we're looking for an employment agreement, we have tens of thousands of those. And now you are in this experience. And again, the problem is that this is just an overwhelming amount of information. So our job is to curate it and make it easier to discover. And so what you'll find here is we have something called common contracts. This is, you got to kind of squint to see this, but this means that, that among our employment agreements, this agreement has the most commonly occurring language across its body. So if it's 10 pages or five pages um, uh, uh, among our database. And so this means that, that it has uh, patterns of clauses and, and identical language that it appears in this case across 166 agreements. Does that mean that it's the best employment agreement in the world? Certainly not. It just means that from a template perspective, it has very, very common language. And you scroll down and you see 109 similar, 73 similar, 69, you keep going. But you don't have to search that way, right? So we have the ability to search um, and do, do uh, advanced search functionalities, jurisdiction, country, keywords, exclude keywords. Um, and so you can narrow this down by date, by company, by executives that are named in it, by law firms that drafted it. And so you can, you drive your own search, but our, our goal is to try to give you categories. Like if you, if you shop for airplane tickets on kayak.com, our job is to try to filter this down so that you can, from a, whether it's from a Boolean perspective or just primary tag perspective, you can get closer and closer to what you're looking for. The most popular feature, though, on Law Insider is clauses. And this is because if you think of, of a lawyer like a mechanic, you're not just looking for to buy a car. You're looking to buy car parts because your job is to assemble the vehicle. Um, and so as nice as it would be just to say, oh, there's the perfect car. I'll just take that whole thing, the perfect contract. Invariably, you're designing it for a purpose. And, and so you need to actually go look. Oh, is this the carburetor I need? Um, whatever it may be. And so cla the clause section is, is what enables that. So I'm just going to click on termination clauses. So we have 300,000 termination clauses. Similar to what I just shared with you um, on the contract section, these are curated and organized by uh, occurrence. And so in this case, you're going to see terminations that occur the most often. Now you're gonna say, Preston, that doesn't help me just because of the frequency doesn't mean that it's a great termination clause because I have my specific needs. And also you're gonna say, I need to know where this clause originated because I wanna understand if it was designed to be built within a, a, an agreement that is that mirrors or is some way similar to what I'm agreeing or what I'm trying to draft. And so we have something here that's called open split view which is sort of a, a super feature of Law Insider, which now enables you to find a termination clause that you think is directionally interesting for you. Let's say I love this one right here. I click on sample. It takes 
takes me to the exact section of the agreement where that termination provision or clause appears, but now I can scroll up and actually see what this agreement is and uh, agreement and plan of merger. And now I get to decide if this is the right one for me. Um, and let's let's keep rolling here. I'm going to close split view for a second just to expand it. You can certainly do filters and, and narrow things down within a, a section of clauses like with termination, the same way you would with a contract. The Before I jump to dictionary, which is defined terms, which is very similar to clauses, I think that how people use us the most is they use us in concentrated period of time, periods of time where they have a drafting project, they need to spend an hour with us, and then they're going to go back and do their work. And, and our, our, our job is to help you do that as efficiently as possible. Uh, we don't want you to spend three hours on Lonsider. Uh, we don't make more money when you spend three hours here. We, we probably make more money when you spend 30 minutes here. And so obviously, we enable you to download clauses. So if you if you found a clause that you liked or a contract that you like, you can download it, which is a which is a common thing. You're like, I just want this whole document or I just want this whole clause. Um, you can download it PDF, docx, HTML, Google Docs, whatever you want to do. But the most common use case is what we call the saving feature, which is where you actually start to build your template library within Law Insider. You can do that holistically, like this, these are all my favorite contracts and clauses or you can do it on a project basis. So if you're doing a construction agreement on you know, such and such, you would start and you would actually create a list, especially for, specifically for this research assignment that you're on. And so the save feature is what this is all about. And so I have, because I do this, a variation of this presentation a lot, I have lots of versions. Um, so I'm just going to click on the one that says double A because it's easy for me to remember, but now it's going to signal that that's been saved. So in this case, let's say that I wanted this amended and restated asset sale, sales agreement, um, but I'm not done yet. I want to go back to clauses. I want to go to indemnification provisions, which there's almost 300,000 of. And now I'm again going to go to save because I really like this one. I like the double A new list for today. And now, now I'm in business. So I'm working through this. I could spend 30 minutes, an hour, just compiling all of the documents that I need. And then in the top right, I go to list and I go click on that. And here we are. So it has the ones that I just saved. It has a bunch that I'd saved four months ago. And now I'm building this library. I can name it. I can change the name. I can share it. Um, with other attorneys, I'm going to share it with my business partner, Dylan. Um, I, can, I can make it publicly available. Uh, I can also edit the material, right? So I can actually get in here and actually make it like, I don't, let's say I don't like this contract or I don't like this clause as it's written. I can actually get in there and start modifying it um, to, um, to my needs. And you're not going to, you're not going to mess with the law insider database. This is your content now, um, you can save it and there's no need to, that, yeah, not that you're going to worry about changing our database, but, but this is your version specifically. So when you save it with someone else, you can actually have made changes to it that are uh, relevant to them. Uh, really quickly on the dictionary, I want to be sensitive to time here. Uh, these are defined terms. Uh, this is also a very, very popular feature. Um, and I think that you can imagine how it works or what it's for, but the idea is visually the ex search experience is identical to clauses. So I do the split view. I find a company definition that I like. I go to sample. It's in a document that I like. And then here's the star. I'm going to save it. I'm going to bring it to the new list. It's saved. We're good to go. So define terms works in the same way. Um, the last part that I'll talk about, and then, you know, Laura, happy to answer any questions that you may have on this, is the resources section is, is maybe the most fun for us from Law Insider perspective. So we're constantly adding to the database. We have millions of contracts. We add literally thousands of new contracts every day. We truly aspire to be the largest contract database in the world, but we know that that is solving only one set of problems. Uh, the people who are coming to the website to look for clauses and define terms, et cetera, are drafting, which means that if we can help them draft beyond just giving them the asset um, or the document or the, the language, that we are providing a more uh, well-rounded solution. And so we do things like the contract teardown show. We do things like live webinars 
So for those of you who have seen and, and heard of the Contract Teardown Show, you can go in here and we not only have the videos, we have exhaustive, comprehensive write-ups of the summaries. We do something called Keynotes, which summarizes um, with the, the learnings and the insights from our deep analysis of these documents. Um, this is just an incredible resource. Uh, this is a YouTube video. It's a podcast. So we, we try to be as prolific uh, we have the transcripts of, of these events. We try to be as prolific as we can in creating these resources uh, for our users and for our members. Uh, we did a great webinar series with Laura Frederick. Um, gosh, it's been maybe six plus months ago now that we did it, but a, a great four-part series. So we continually make these investments. Um, and that's a big part of our commitment to the community. Because again, as I said, we want to be a place where you come to build your contracts and draft faster but we also know a big part of that is educating our community on, on how to draft better, which is why we're so well aligned with, uh, with Laura Frederick and how to contract and flow. So I think this is, this is sort of the, the short of it. Um, we, uh, I think I'll, I'll, I don't want to do a sales pitch here. So we like, you can use Law Insider for free. There's a free version. Free version has a bunch of annoying ads. Um, lots of sort of things that prevent you from getting the full access to the site from a, a content download perspective. Um, but literally hundreds of thousands of people use the free version. And so lawinsider.com, go use it, no problem. But to upgrade to premium, uh, which is the account experience that you're seeing now, um, is uh, it, it ranges anywhere from 20 five dollars a month up to uh i want to say two hundred dollars a year the pricing varies because we you know like amazon or whatever we're just running price experiments all the time but that's sort of ballpark from a pricing perspective you can cancel anytime we make it super easy to cancel um we have lots of people who use us for a while stop and they come back so we make that very flexible um and I think that's it. And then we have a great support team. So if you ever have any issues, uh, we're always here 24 seven to answer questions and to uh, resolve issues. Um, I'll pause there, Laura, happy to dive into any er other areas that you think I may have missed, but I think that's probably a good, a good summary intro. Yeah, I, I think it's great. I, I, I would have to say one of my favorite features uh, that I see when you're doing the walkthrough is the ability to do a search filter your search and then save your search. And then just to top it off on that is that once you create that search and you have templates in there, you can actually modify those templates in the system. So you could essentially build your own like document uh, template <laughs> system and not even have to leave linesider.com, which I think is absolutely perfect. And you can share it. You can share it with other people in your office and say, hey, I've created this search. You know, this is the searches for our, uh, let's say we're doing telecom. This is the, the search that I say for all telecom agreements that we can be able to implement. I mean, I, I think this is absolutely uh, phenomenal. Uh, I know Flo, Laura, you use it. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah Flo, I'll, I'll, one thing that you, when you said that, it reminded me, so my engineering team will probably kill me on this for not <laughs> doing it, but I started up here because this is like this very, what they refer to as archaic way to search. Yeah. <laughs> Most of our time and energy is spent in this little magic box <laughs> right here. Okay. And so I highly recommend folks start here because this is a way that you can be pulled into an advanced search experience right. um, and find what you're looking looking for probably more efficiently than just, um, you know, going alphabetically. So anyway, I just want to make that side. Oh, no, no, thank you. No, that's a great point. I know yeah. it's, it's, um, it's amazing how, cause I'm old school too. So I look at the uh, menu list first and I try mm. and find it that way, but, <laughs> but there's it's yeah, that the search box is everything. Um, so I was going to say, yeah, so I've been using Lonsider for a long time, way before we met Preston and always loved it because it, you know, there is a free service called Edgar that the security, U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission publishes all the, a lot of U.S. Uh, public contracts that are in the public domain, but it's a nightmare to use. I never yeah. could figure it out. So it was, yeah, it's free, but what's my time worth, you know, to try and figure out how to find something there? And what I love about Law Insider is for some, it's free. It's awesome because you can just go on and start searching. And even if you're not a subscriber, you can get access to great information. 
But yeah, once I became the paid subscriber, then my whole experience changed. It was like, oh, <laughs> look at all this other stuff. And now I really could use it. And I didn't have the annoying ads and all that good stuff. So I actually have a practical law as well. I use that for my law firm. But in a lot of, you know, there's some things that practical law does great, but there's yeah. some things that I don't like as much. And a lot of times they only have one version of a clause. So they'll have, have whoever wrote it, uh, some lawyer and some law firm wrote this great clause and does the analysis. But if sometimes it's not on point and it's not the style I want because I'm drafting a little terms and conditions, three pager versus a 20 pager. So I need something different. And that's where Law Insider's quantity and my ability to filter through everything it makes it so it's such an amazing tool. Yeah, I think it's, it's interesting because we get we get questions like how do you compare to Bloomberg Law or Practical Law or, or other resources from from companies that are much larger and I think from a res from a resources perspective or just much broader. Um, yeah. But as I think that by our sort of obsessive focus on contracts, we're able to go deep, and we know that that's not for everybody. We know that that doesn't solve all of your your legal research problems or needs, but it's a really good niche for us, and I think it's uh, you know based on our utilization numbers suggest that it's it's a good place to focus. Yeah. And I'll add one thing that I've talked to a lot of people about with Law Insider. It's a great tool to learn a new type of contract. So, you know, yeah, you can go to a course somewhere in some CLE, but personally, you know, if I have a new type of contract that or an industry I'm, I'm looking at, I can start reading the contract specific for that industry or that type of contract. And I can see the kinds of terms that people are, you know, how do they negotiate indemnity in pharmaceutical industry? Or how do they negotiate software license in the pharmaceutical industry? So it gives me that ability to narrow down because so often these terms are industry dependent. Yeah. I, the, um, so I have a lot of friends who, as I'm sure you do, Laura, who've gone from big law in to in-house or solo. And, and what one of the sort of most popular use cases or the great revelation that brings me and us great joy is an attorney discovering us for the first time, realizing that their whole career, they've been standing on the shoulders of all of these resources of there's two lawyers down the hall who've been there for 30 years. There's, yeah. there's, you know, practical law, there's all of these, just, there's an internal database of 10,000 documents. And now they're like, I'm standing on my own. I'm, I'm the general counsel. There's, you know, 200 employees, none of which care at all about legal. And so it's not like I can go to them. And so they find something like this and it's, it's, it's propelling them. And then I think for the, the solo attorney who gets an inbound client that is like, Hey, you know, how do you feel about construction agreements in New York? And they're like, shit, like, I've never done one of those before. And now they're like, Hey, I, I can figure this out though. And they, I just, I just need to start doing the work. And um, so in any event, yeah, I think it, it does, it sort of opens the aperture, expands what an attorney is able to do uh, by giving just a massive database to, to work from. Yeah. One of the questions that I have is basically uh, it, if, when you set up an account, uh, can you set up more than one user on, on an account? Like if you're in a, like you yeah. mentioned a small law office, there's yeah. like 10 people, can they share an account? Yeah. So let me show you a couple of things, Flo. So that's a great question. So first of all, I'd like LinkedIn. Um, th this is, this is me. I can manage, I can add. So if I, I you know, typically with LinkedIn, you don't want to have your LinkedIn account just attached to your company because then you leave the company, they turn off the email and now that's not connected anymore. And so it's sort of common practice to have a professional email and a personal email linked to an account. So if you move places, and so we operate much in the same way where we recommend that people uh, tie uh, two or three of their personal email addresses to a single account. But that's not the question you're asking. The question you're <laughs> asking is about uh, teams, what we refer to as teams. And so you have, we, yes, we have the ability to very seamlessly add people. Um, and we have, you know, hundreds of corporations 
um, hundreds of law firms that that operate with us this way, where they've added teams of five, teams of 100, whatever it may be, they can manage it from within here. So you can have one manager who's not being billed, like, you know, it's like you have an admin who it doesn't use Law Insider, but needs to manage the billing. Um, and so all of that can be set up manually from the website, from this, this account page by, by upgrading to Teams. Um, and then you can, if, if you know someone leaves and, and a new attorney comes in, you can always just rotate accounts. So we make it uh, very, very easy for a law firm or for a large in-house team or other to, uh, to have several people or num- like many people on an account. And we make it cost efficient to do that as well. So it's, it's much more cost effective to add the second, third, fourth, tenth person than it is just to buy a single account. Yeah, and that was going to be my next question is, you know, how does the pricing change when you're going from a Teams account to a single user account uh, and just the price transparency, if that's available as well? Yeah, so let me let me do this. Um, I'm going to actually sign out um, and show you what the experience is for a new member. So first of all, this is a really cool video. So watch this video, please. <laughs> um, it's a really good intro of the value of Law Insider. Um, and maybe I can flow, I'll send it to you and, and we can put it somewhere in the, in the footnotes. I actually for... watched it. <laughs> you did. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's a good summary, but the, um, but from a pricing perspective, now you actually get to see, and again, we have dynamic pricing. I don't even know what you're about to see because literally it's changing all the time, but, <laughs> yeah. um, but, but here it is. So we have $29 a month. So we make it easy to start. It's a dollar for a seven day trial. Um, but then it, it auto uh, enrolls you thereafter, but you can cancel any time and make it really easy to do that. Uh, monthly, annual, or two-year contracts. And so about 40% of our customers do annual because it's just, it's significantly cost-effective. So it's 29 a year or 29 a month or 249 a year. Uh, you don't have to be great at math to figure out that, um, that that's a good deal. Um, and then from a, uh, from a team's perspective, you can get in here, it's $500 for up to five users, but then you can, if you have a, a bigger organization um, that, that goes beyond that, then you can, um, we can quote it for you individually. And then a really cool thing we do is we make it free for edu and .gov. And so we probably lose a bunch of money for doing this, <laughs> but if you're an adjunct professor, if, if, you, you know, work for a not-for-profit, whatever it is. So we have, I think, 250 colleges and universities that have proactively registered accounts for themselves. And, and so, you know, it like, it, you just name NYU, I think there's like 250 subscribers at NYU. So you sort of, we, we make this available because um, we know that, that this is where there tends to be less budget, but also it's a really good place to build long-term loyalty. So we make that available. And then, of course, as we already mentioned, there's a basic access account, um, which isn't the best user experience, candidly, because we have to fund that through advertisements. Um, but uh, there is always the free version. And so back to, to Laura's comment on Edgar, like at very least don't use Edgar, just use the free version. So you don't have to give us any money, but Edgar, like, I think you have to have a PhD yeah. in don't search. Do, don't do Edgar, whatever you do. <laughs> Edgar is so hard. Uh, it just do it here because you'll you'll find what you're looking for faster. So uh, Flo, hopefully that that was responsive to the question. Oh yeah, no, most definitely. I mean, I think the, the price transparency is excellent. Just having the ability to, to go to a site and have all the information readily available. Uh, I, I think is, is is great. And one thing that you actually did leave out that I, I did notice that what Law Insider does is that when you update your uh, documents, you actually send out a notification. And in the notification, the <laughs> newsletter, you actually state what was uploaded and exactly what the agreement is that was uploaded. And I, I, I think that is another cool feature that Law Insider has to offer. Yeah. Yeah. So thank, thanks, Flo. You're doing doing my job. Um, so <laughs> the let me say two things in response to that. So one is um, we have a great weekly newsletter that is just packed with resources that goes out to um, a couple hundred thousand people every Thursday, and you can register for that just by creating your account. So literally, you just the top right, just sign up. You can sign up for a free account, and you'll get the newsletter. Um, but to Flo's comment. Once you start creating your own lists 
and you start modifying those and making changes, we do send you automatic updates so that you can um, have a, a, in your inbox um, a history and a recap of what you've worked on. Uh, and so that is a really nice feature um, uh, that, that you know helps you sort of archive or keep track of, of the work you've done and the projects you've been working on. So thank you, thank you for reminding yeah, me. Yeah, no problem. That. <laughs> One question I had, um, Preston, is you know I know you have a lot of international users. And there's a lot of international um, members in my community as well. Can you talk about the international aspects and what resources you have outside the U.S.? Yeah, so this one's interesting. So the we have about 30 to 40 percent of our both free and paid members coming from outside the U.S. It, it's probably 20 percent are paid, and then and then among the free, it's about 30 to 40 percent. And um, We've, we didn't know what to do with that in the beginning because we didn't understand. We were like, this is awesome. We started doing webinars, Laura, and we were, we'd have like 500 people show up and we'd be like, hey, where's everyone calling in from? And like someone would be like Pittsburgh and then someone else is like Malaysia and someone else is the <laughs> Philippines. And we're like, whoa, like yeah. this is a massive global audience. And these people are up at 2 a.m. watching this live webinar because this matters so much to them. And so we just, we just really started to understand that, that there was a need there. I'll, I'll say two things though. One is a lot of the world wants English contracts. Yeah. And so um, the, because you have legal translators, you have attorneys that are doing multinational agreements, like on and on and on. And so we don't believe that, that the English database will ever have any, any internal competition with multi-language but we also have to do multi-language. And so we've been working on that for some time. So I'll just give you an example of what that looks like. Um, our Spanish version of Law Insider um, is here. So like, just there it is. Sorry, you're seeing ads because I'm logged out now, but we do have, um, uh, fíjese que yo también hablo español. So this is why we started <laughs> here. But, um, but the... Uh, the 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 database of Spanish version and Russian and Mandarin, all of which we're working on, just isn't as big yet. So it's, yeah. it's in the hundreds, but not in the hundreds of thousands. Uh, but this is also just a really great resource, and we'll continue to be focusing here. So I had actually a great product meeting with the team last week, and we're really beginning to double down on languages. So we want to get to a place where we have 20 languages with hundreds of thousands of contracts um, in each. So that that's a long scale, long tail vision for this. Um, but uh, we still have a long way to go. But it's still, it's just such an amazing thing because it is, there aren't those resources. You know, we've, we've got right. some of these free resources in the US and in some of the other uh, countries that have a deeper technology base on the, in this area. But yeah, I think that's fantastic. And a lot of the members will definitely be interested in that. Yes, I definitely yeah. agree with that, Laura. And, uh, you know, Preston, thank you so much for your time. You know, one of the last questions that I probably have is, you know, what what's the, the biggest takeaway that people watching today who are doing contracts from negotiating to drafting? What's the biggest takeaway that they should have about Law Insider? Um. I think that this is our focus and our commitment. And so I, as I said in the beginning, like, I think our product is like a B, maybe a B plus. I'll just be totally frank on that. Um, but this is all we do. And I think it was a C plus a year and a half ago. And I think it's going to be an A plus in 18 months. And so part of what you're getting with us, um, and to be clear, we have hundreds of thousands of users. We have like our active users is through the roof. So um, I'm being sort of, uh, I'm acknowledging that we have a long way to go, but there's there's hundreds of thousands of people who are very happy with Law Insider as it is. Mm -hmm. But I think what sets us apart, Flo, to answer your question, is this is all we do. And so you, you, you pull that over months and years, and it's just going to be an, an incredible asset and resource. So we're, we're excited on that. But what that means is if you look at this today and you're like, yeah, I like Law Insider, like just wait. Because our commitment here is is what you're going to see manifest into something that is that we think is going to be pretty remarkable. Um, and before I forget, 
And Laura, sorry if I'm supposed to say this to the end, but, <laughs> but, but Flo and Laura asked me to, to create a, a promo code um, for the how to contract community. So we did that. So if you're watching this, um, we have 25% off. I'll just type it in here. This is probably yeah. not the best way to and do we'll, it. And we'll put it on the website as well. Yeah, so you do HTC 20. That's HTC the code. So it's like, like, it, like Amazon where you like <laughs> type it in at the point of sale. Same thing. Right. The discount will get applied. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, and that's forever. So if you do a month to month or annual or whatever, as long as you have that code, uh, you'll, you'll save 25%. So. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And Laura, and any last the words? The other thing that I love about, I mean, I'll do my takeaway for uh, Law Insider <laughs> is I've been with you on this journey watching you grow. And it's amazing to see how much better the product is than a year and a half ago. Um, Thank you. And then the other thing I'll say is, I, you know, so appreciate and really want to thank Law Insider for the commitment to the contract community and all these amazing free resources and programs and con everything from contract teardown to webinars to forms and checklists. And it's all free, you know, which is, is just such a great gift to the community. So thank you for that. Yeah, no, we're, we're happy to do it. And it's, um, it aligns with our business, right? So it's not, we're, we're half good people and half just making content freely available that gets our name out there is good for business. So we will continue to, to invest there. And, uh, and we appreciate your support too, well, uh, uh, Laura, because I think the webinars we did together, a lot of the content we, we've done together um, has been um, just really huge value add to our community. So I want to thank you as well. Sure. Yeah, Preston, thank you. Here's my takeaway. Uh, first, you're being really frugal with your grading. I appreciate that. But I think Law Insider is a great tool. I think you can probably bump up your grading a little bit higher. <laughs> but I, I see what you're trying to do. But here's the thing. You're international. And here's the things that I look at. Easy to, easy to use. And this is easy to use. It's not complicated. I'm all about simplification and not complication. And this is spot on you have the ability to serve your uh, save your searches you can have create teams um, i mean and then the pricing is just you know people want reasonable they want tools they can use that are readily available and, and that are reasonable and law inside you're offering that you have mm -hmm. all these templates available and then you can filter them by what's commonly used by others i mean this is absolutely phenomenal and thank you for the htc 25 percent off code and we're going to have that on our website for anyone who wants additional information about Law Insider, you can see the information right on our website and go directly to Law Insider. You better sign up because this tool is absolutely phenomenal. The free re resources that Lauren Preston uh, talked about are great. One of my favorite shows is The Contract Teardown. So if you haven't watched it, you definitely need to watch that as well. My favorite op episode, uh, Preston, is the Domino's uh, episode. Um, That's a good but one. I digress. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for your time. I'm really thrilled to have had you on the show. If anything changes, I know you guys are trying to go international and, and add more templates that are in different languages. As you grow and you add more of those templates, please keep us updated. Let us know. And we'll be sure. more than happy to have you back. Oh, I love it. Thank, thank you so much, Flo. And again, uh, thank you both for letting me be a part of the inaugural uh, kickoff of, of this show. And, and yeah, as we, as we get better, episode. I hope, 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 you'll, hope you'll invite us back to do it again. Oh, we will, definitely. <laughs> thanks so much. And thanks for letting me be on the first show, too. I think yes, you're gonna, thank you for you, coming, Laura. You know, I work with you all uh, a lot. And I forgot to thank my favorite person in the whole wide world, <laughs> Laura, for coming on and be my co-host oh, for the very first time. Thank you. But And I'm also excited that you're going to be switching out co-hosts in the future. So yes. each episode, the plan is to have a different co-host. Uh, so maybe I'll sneak back in one of these days, <laughs> but I'm glad I could be here for the first one. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. We're bringing you the latest and the hottest, greatest contract tech that's on the market to help you with your contracting needs.